Hello everybody, welcome back to a new Let's Play. Yes, I'm aware there'll be two going. Um, it's one of these games. It's not Pac-Man either, that'd be ridiculous. It is none of these games, and yes, I'm aware I'm gonna do I'm gonna finish this one, this one as well, and these ones I will do eventually. It is me plans vs. zombies, a PS3 let's play. And yes, like I said before, I'm aware that there are two let's plays going at the same time. Dragon Ball Z Bukai Tenkai 2 is going on and uh, this game because the game before that I finished which was um, What was that game I finished before that? Hmm, I believe it was Dragon Ball Z Budokai the first one so yes, I'm aware we have two going at the same time and That way this one is on the ps3 so keeps me a little bit um, You know just something different, you know Plans for Zombies isn't that long of a game anyways my friend Logar beat the game in like two days, so yeah. So this game shouldn't be that hard to beat, I believe. All right, let's go. Start adventure. And yes, there will be an intro to this. So oh no, no, there won't be any intros. I don't know. We'll do something. We'll see. So there's a row of things, and yes, this is one player. This is two players. Okay, we collect sun. Keep on collecting sun. You'll need to grow more plants. There we go. Now we just gotta kill these zombie things. Not like weeds, just like the, the sea green things after you. Yay. Now we can have three of them. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is boring but not boring. Ooh, we have a daisy sunflower. Gives you additional sun. Mm, interesting. All right. Press L1 or R1 to choose a seed plant. Okay. Sunflowers are extreme, extremely important plants. The more of them, the more sun you can plant. And then the faster you can grow more plants, so yeah. And overall, that makes a big difference. See now, instead of this is sun coming from the sky, we have also coming from these guys. All right, here we go. It's coming up. All right, up. Yeah. The strategy I like usually like using this. One per row, but depends how big the level really is. Uh, just keep one there. There we go, there's another one. Mm. And there's one right there in the middle. Although that, it's wearing a tie. Why is that somebody wearing a tie? It's kind of awkward. I think it's a little bit more faster here. But two in one row. You know, I believe I beat this game before. Almost. But I we'll see we'll see what happens here. But this ridiculous consistency of shooting green circle things that kill. Whoops. There you go. Alright, final wave. Or a huge wave, not final wave, but usually when that kind of sound effect comes in, it's usually the final wave. Alright, so it is the final wave. Alright. Yeah, what's a brain flag and make a difference? 
definitely. Mm, I wonder what I wonder what we're gonna get at the end of this level. What kind of plant we're gonna get? Hmm. Ah, the cherry one. Sometimes it can be used for dramatic situations, but usually it's uh not really used consistently. So it's mainly used for emergency situations, in which it involves where you don't have a really good of a defense. But now we have coned, coned zombies. Oh, and you see, there's lawnmowers behind the uh, sunflower, and um, because if uh, a zombie gets past your line of defense, um, the lawnmower will run over basically that whole row, which basically kills the zombie or zombies in that row. So you don't really want to get that far dramatically, but if it comes to it, you at least have one last defense to use. So come on, here we go. All right, um. Look at the leg. Look at that leg right there. See how it's like bent? It's no bone jean. Jeans. Blue jeans there. Blue jeans. Oh, that's what part one be called. Blue jeans. Eh. Yes, with a J. Not a G. Alright, this is taking a while. Come on. Oh, let's get faster here. Yeah, the cherry bomb yeah, sometimes can be useful, but I never really used it. When I played this game, at least. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sign out line because people online who are watching this video are probably getting annoyed. So, and yes, this is on PS3. It's not on PC. That'd be kind of awkward. Whoever thought, who? I mean, PC mode is a lot weird. Like it's weirder. Like yes, there's Minecraft and Xbox and. Um, computer, but I hear the PC one's a lot better. I don't know how to say it. Probably is a lot better, but yeah, I'm pr I'm pretty sure it probably is a lot better on the PC. I wonder what differences there are. I never even played Minecraft. I've I basically watched my friends play it, but I really didn't find it to look very fun, so I never really bothered trying it. This looks kind of weird. And also, you can play four players on there. Imagine how weird that'd be. That would be kind of difficult. I also heard there's a storyline to the game you can beat as well. That's why there's like a million Let's Plays on it. Every time I look up Let's Play for anything else, it's... The first thing that shows up is Let's Play Minecraft. Like, Jesus, come on, people. I mean, it's alright, but come on. Is it really that good? I don't know if it really is. I don't really find it that good. I mean, I'd rather watch. I'd rather play this game than that game, probably. I mean, your your little plant. Well, you're not really you're not really a thing. You're just like a, I don't know, like some kind of person or just a square that has an arrow in the middle of it that puts out seed, seedy plant things that come out and shoot zombies. What the heck? Why did the sign get? This is ridiculous. Whatever, then. I guess I have to be online. Pretty ridiculous, though, I think. I mean, I really... You know what, then? Screw it. I don't need to post my scores. Alright, now, we got the potato dude. He can actually help. Blocks off zombies and protects your other plants. Okay, it's a walnut. A walnut. Alright. We'll continue this let's play on part two. As now there are five rows. So I'll see you guys in part two. Let's play Plants vs. Zombies.